This is the October 6th daily vlog. It's actually past midnight, so it's really October 7th, but I'm trying to remain committed to the series, but I think this kind of highlights, like, like, I think there was, like, a whole situation that went semi-viral recently about how it's hard to be a content creator, and while this this vlog is like kind of more of an experiment today it was harder to find the time to get this done because literally from like 9 a.m until like 4 i think i was just sitting in my chair or like back to back meetings um dealing with some work stuff and then at night, I actually decided to go to this meetup um, that was hosted by a VC fund that is focused on investing in women of color. And I'm proud of myself for pushing myself to go out and, you know, here, hold on. Sorry, my, my wrist hurt. But like, sometimes I actually surprise myself because I went and I was like, okay, there's supposed to be like this panel event that's gonna happen from six until 6.40 and maybe I'll plan to stay until seven, you know, push myself to like network for an additional 20 minutes. So everything got pushed back by the timeline a little bit more. And then around seven, the panel finished and I was like, okay, I'm probably gonna head out soon. And I ran into a friend there. So we started chatting with some people and then I'll like, time flies and it's already 9 p.m and i'm like one of the last people there and they're like clearing everyone out to get out of the space so sometimes you can just impress yourself when you show up you know i was like having an introvert moment and thought that i wasn't really gonna talk to anybody there um but yeah so my post on linkedin today which i also posted relatively late was about this whole idea of like bringing your full authentic self to work and I know that's something that I've said before but as I've started to reflect on it it made me realize that like and this actually came up yesterday when I went to TikTok is that the type of content I post on TikTok like is not content that I post onto LinkedIn or other platforms and then there are things that I talk to my therapist about that I wouldn't necessarily like bring into a work meeting um and it made me realize that like, I feel like I'm my full authentic self in all aspects of my life, but that they're spread out to things that are, you know, social media or life or work or behind the scenes and that's okay. So, um, so yeah, that's kind of what I've been reflecting on because I think part of my imposter syndrome about being a creator on TikTok is that I feel like my content there is like kind of cringeworthy, but then I'm also like, if it's cringeworthy, then you know, then you know, <laughs> I don't know what you know, but you know, um, it's like that acronym. If you know, you know, um, so anyway, um, you might be able to hear some piano in the background and that is greg practicing past midnight um but we're in this one bedroom spot um but it's kind of reminiscent of how both of us are on calls most of the day and so unless he goes in the music music studio like one of us is here in the bedroom and the other one is in the other room because those are the rooms that we have available to have calls um there's also a cute like outdoor area but then i started getting like bitten by mosquitoes so that ended up not being a spot but um these are my scattered thoughts it's super late at night i'm really tired but in the spirit of staying consistent to my daily posting i wanted to make sure i came in and shared something i hope you have a wonderful evening and i will see you tomorrow